What is up guys? It is Nundark and this video has absolutely nothing to do with me. What's up guys? This is the much awaited reveal from my submission to CGC. I know Alec teased it in his last video with his opening. So I just wanted to show you guys what I pulled. Appreciate all of you. All Stay right, tuned. Guys, there are 16 cards here. So just a fair warning. Some of these I was very happy with. So to start, Erica's Invitation SAR from Japanese 151. One of the waifu hits of the set. Very valuable. Very nice. I was very happy with getting a 10 on there. And next, my Psyduck Master Ball. Pristine 10. Gorgeous card. I love the Master Balls in this set. Very, very collectible. And I think they'll build value over time. My... Oh, that sounded great. Can I have one? Uh, Charmeleon Master Ball here. This one just got a 10, but to pair with it, guys, I had the Pristine 10 Charmander. Didn't get the Pristines on both, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Am I right? You're right. And next, we got our Alakazam SAR from Japanese 151 and a Pristine as well. Just the color coordination on this, I thought was beautiful. That's something that I'm always going to keep just because of how it looks, so I love that. Got another Master Ball here, Flareon 10. This one didn't get the Pristine as well, but you know, like I said, beggars can't be choosers. And the disappointment of the Master Balls was the Polyway. This one got a 9.5, which is only like 18 bucks. But you know what? It's now sealed forever, so I can't complain about that. Then we got the Erica's Invitation SR, 9.5. And, and a 10 from the English set of 151. Yikes. Got a uh, UPC of this one back in like October and uh, was the best UPC I ever opened. Pulled this out of it. Having this sealed kind of is a good memory of that. Made me very happy. All right. Got the second stack here. Got a bunch of vintage here, guys. So be prepared. First edition, Erica from Jim Heroes, a 10. This one's worth like 240 bucks in a 10. Very beautiful card. You can see that hollow just... Bliss, pure bliss right there. And next, Jolteon. As well. Dude, that's like a thousand dollar card. Yeah, PSA 10 is worth about a thousand bucks. I always am a little skeptical with values of CGC versus PSA. So I would say on a good day, this could get maybe seven, eight hundred bucks on eBay. But this one is definitely staying in the collection. This one's from my childhood. The fact that I took care of these from when I was seven till now and it's still a 10 50 years ago seven uh years old so 21 years ago thank you very much shining mewtwo this one came from uh yours truly or uh, from non-dark he gave it to me in a trade got a five and a half awesome. all right we got zapdos first edition non-hollow it's a 10 we got another 10 here guys dark hypno from team rocket so a lot of vintage 10s that I was very surprised by. I was expecting, you know, 8, 8.5 maybe. But, you know, these cards just uh, really hit home. They hit a home run, grand slam. And the disappointment of the vintage, which is a surprise to say, got a 9.5 Nita Queen from Jungle. Just the fact that my vintage, the lowest grade was a 9.5 is just unbelievable. I don't know if the grader was drunk or, or what happened, but... Couldn't be more ecstatic about that. And last but not least, Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket Returns. This I actually found out after grading. It was from a theme deck. I didn't even know that there was a theme deck from that era, but there it is. All right, you guys. Frank is not a boastful man, but on his behalf, I certainly will be. Uh, I'm showing you guys all of his 10s, and I'm doing so so that I, on the screen, can show the total ungraded value the total cost of his submission, and then the total value of all the cards after they came back. So he once again uh, profited. He's an animal. And on the screen, we'll see how much he profited. But I just wanted to give him his flowers and show the Tenzi hit all on one picture because this was a remarkable grade return. Like he said, we do not know if the grader was drunk, just madly in love with Frank, or feeling generous. Could have just had a good day. But either way, this is a all-time submission return, total profit, and all the values are shown on the screen. 
but I just cannot end the video with Frank modestly hopping off. Got to show him what he got. So yeah, catch you in the next video. Let's be a good human. Peace. And I'm back. Matt reminded me I did not put the Jolteon in. We even have more. Bangers. Peace. Yeah.